Hi, Joanna. It's good day, good morning, good afternoon, good evening. <laughs> Wherever you're watching from, yeah, this is another video on Yomi and Anu channel. So today I'm going to be telling you how to make your stir fry, stir fry anything, stir fry anything. I mean, in minutes, everybody loves to use vegetables, I'm sure. And I'm okay. Let me speak for myself. I actually love to use vegetables, and it's always beautiful seeing it in your meals. Like, we love to see the colors, we love to see everything, but it's always tiring to know how to, like, to always think of how to cut this stuff before every meal. So, I got this hack, uh, you know, which I use, I've been using in this past week, and it makes cooking very, very easy. Like, it makes cooking very, very easy. <laughs> so this is what i do i wash the vegetables very very well when i get them from the market then i cut them just as you can see here in this video i cut them into this bits so that it will be easy and you can use them for any you want to use them for fried rice like i made fried rice yesterday i was able to use them during the week i use them for indomie I use them for spaghetti, stir fry spaghetti. You can put them in anything. You'll be surprised that people put these vegetables also in their beans. <laughs> but if you don't have them readily available and maybe you just bought them from the market that day and you're tired, you might just toss them away and not do. So if you have time, the best thing you can do is that uh, when, you, when you buy them and you're not too busy, try cutting them. Put them in different shades like this and get some uh, bowls. It might not be this particular plastic bowl that I used. You can get like any bowl that works for you and partition them like into this. So in this case here, I put the green beans first. Then I put the green pepper. After the green pepper, I put this carrots and then i also cut some onions into it but when i'm cooking i usually add like onions even if i already have onions like in this part then i love the color of the red bell peppers and the yellow bell peppers it just gives the color i don't think it even has any specific like scent or niceness as far as i'm concerned the green pepper it's still like the best but the yellow pepper and the red pepper gives this color so i partition them like this put them in see the way they look so nice and that's how it to be when you put them in any of your meals they're going to look really nice i put them in these both bowls and the best storage method for you to for you to be able to use them for a very long time is to even freeze them some people put them in the fridge which makes them like still a nice but me i put it in the freezer so that at any time you can pick it up just lay it out for some minutes put it in the oil and you're done don't forget as usual to clean your workspace because if you don't clean it <laughs> i don't know i don't know how you're going to manage if you don't clean it thanks so much for watching don't forget to like subscribe and share till i meet you next time